Okay, so good afternoon, my dear students. Welcome to our virtual class for this afternoon. Uh, before I proceed, uh, I would like to introduce myself to you. I am Maria Anasi Robles, your online learning coordinator or your OLC. I am one of the faculty members of uh, College of Arts and Sciences at AMA Malolo City, Bulacan. Okay, so for our uh, for our course code, we have here um, uh, UGRD Eng uh, 6301 for 21130, and this is technical, scientific, and business English. And uh, our topic for this afternoon is. Uh, the processes and guidelines in technical writing. And for our uh, learning objectives, uh, we have here at the end of uh, the discussion, uh, we will be able to uh, identify and explain the different processes of technical writing, and then give the data and information being requested in technical writing and lastly discuss the different pre-writing techniques so again these are our learning objectives for this afternoon now um uh let us have some introduction on the process of technical report writing now in in order to finish something one has to start first, okay? So writers or authors, however, mostly find it hard to begin writing. So the questions, uh, questions like, where do I start? How do I begin? Uh, should I begin with uh, a quotation or an anecdote? Or how do I engage my audiences? or how do I engage my readers? So these are the questions or these questions and a lot more crowd the mind of any writer or author. Now, the power of the written word is undeniable. So uh, it gives the reader immense possibilities for learning and communicating with other people. So technical writing is a great tool for communication. So creating a piece of writing can be rewarding and satisfying. Now it is in itself is an experience. So it is the experience of uh, finding something to write about that interests the readers as well as the writers. Now, as the writers create the subject, he gets involved in it profoundly. So writing about all the ideas and details that he wished to convey to the readers. Now the writer has to put in a lot of effort in order for the reader to understand what the writer wished to say. So technical writing is a process. So once a person decides to write, he will go through different stages such as planning, making drafts, writing, and revising. Now, uh, let's move on to the processes of technical writing. Now, before starting to write, or before we write, or before an author writes something, there is what we call the planning stage, okay? Now, uh, in the planning stage, we have this, what we call pre-writing stage, okay? So pre is a prefix, which means before. So before writing. Now, pre-writing is the first step in writing. So this entails the writer to think, gather, and plan before creating his work. Now, this is uh, a crucial step because 
uh, this will dictate the subject and the course the writer will be taking in his work. So much of this step is about thinking and exploring the mind for ideas to be used in decomposition. Now, uh, I have here the uh, sample uh, pre-writing techniques, okay, that uh, we can do before starting a composition, okay? So uh, letter A, gathering a list of one's interest. So you have to, as a writer, we have to gather uh, a list of one's interest. Now, naturally, a person will write a composition well about what he knows and is interested about. So gathering a list of interests is the best way to come up with a topic for writing. So this pre-writing technique will offer the writer a wide variety of topics because he can gather ideas through his interests, through experiences, through his experiences, and even through his preferences. So what interest, so in other words, what interests the writers or and what interests the readers as well okay so you have to gather a list of one's interest and then letter b is uh through reading okay now uh reading is one way to gather ideas for writing so as one reads he is able to discover more about uh, or, or he is able to discover more ideas about the topic as well as ways to explore and to explain it, okay? So um, reading materials such as books, magazines, and newspapers are very useful. But with the advent of technology, Articles over the internet can also be used. However, one must be careful when choosing materials. So reading. So as a writer, we should be a, a, a wide reader or a voracious reader in order to gather ideas for our uh, writing. And then another technique on... Uh, pre-writing stage is through journal writing. Now a journal is a notebook where a person can write down his thoughts, his ideas and responses to the daily events that he encounters. So a journal is a great way to come up with ideas for the composition. So the entries could be uh, a source of ideas for writing okay journal writing and then another one is brainstorming uh, it is another way to discover details and gather ideas for the composition okay. so one thing to remember about brainstorming is that it is a technique used only when one has already derived uh, a specific topic for the composition. To, and to do brainstorming, uh, think of the topic and simply write a list of all the ideas related to it. And this way, one can use these ideas to develop and gather more ideas for the composition. Okay? So that is another technique through brainstorming. And then clustering. Now, uh, clustering is a pre-writing technique that gives the writer a visual map of ideas and details that can be used for a topic. Now, this is um, beneficial and efficient for writers because it automatically uh, arranges and classifies the details that may be used for writing. And uh, how to do clustering? So the problem is how to do clustering. Now to do clustering, follow the steps, okay? Follow these steps. 
Okay. First, uh, uh, get a clean sheet of paper. And then uh, in that clean sheet of paper, write the topic in the middle of the paper and enclose it in a circle. And as new words and ideas related to the topic come along, connect these ideas to the main idea and then continue the process until one can run out of ideas. So that is clustering. So another technique, another pre-writing technique, okay? And then uh, we have also uh, free writing, free writing. Now, free writing is one of the uh, easiest and most effective pre-writing techniques. So it is a great strategy to find topics for writing. So free writing means writing unreservedly about the ideas as they come to mind. Okay, free, free writing. So to, to write freely, try the following steps. So first, think of a word or phrase or ideas to start with, and then uh, select, uh, select a specific topic ranging from five to 10 minutes. So write quickly for the entire period. So once the time has elapsed, read through what, uh, what you have written and underline the relevant information that can be used for decomposition. So free writing. So writing what comes to your mind, okay? And um, uh, in choosing, choosing and limiting a, a composition for the topic. Now, the, the said pre-writing technique will help uh, the generate uh, ideas about subject to write about. However, most of the time, the subject and ideas that will be generated through these techniques are broad, okay? They are too broad. So in composition writing, it is important to have uh, a clear and narrow down topic. So this way the writer will be able to explore, uh, will be able to explain and expound on the topic easily and will be able to focus on a specific and particular topic. So having a topic that is too broad will be difficult to discuss in a limited composition. So, so in other words, for the broad, a broad topic should be uh, narrowed down, okay? And uh, for the audience and purpose, every piece of writing has an intended audience or readers and purposes. Now, before writing a composition, it is best to determine the purpose for writing uh, is, or what are the purposes of writing, and who is the intended audience, or who is the intended readers, okay? Now, there are various purposes in writing, okay? Uh, number one is to create, so if your purpose is to create, you can uh, create stories, you can create a poem, you can create uh, um, songs, you can create novels or any literary uh, writing, okay? And then uh, you can also have the purpose of to explain or to inform. Now, example of this writings are research papers and school papers. Now, if your purpose is to persuade or to convince the audience or your readers, uh, these are speeches, these are newspapers, and magazines, editorials. Now, if your purpose is to communicate, uh, you can write about the thoughts and feelings of of someone. 
Now, if your purpose is to describe, it is more on expressing feelings. It is more on telling stories about places, uh, things, and events. Okay. Now, uh, while in pre-writing stage, make sure to decide on the purpose of writing. So as writer, uh, a writer has to be clear with his writing purpose because this will dictate everything in the composition. So another thing the writer needs to establish before writing uh, for the audience. Now the writer needs to ask himself who will be reading his work. And from there, the writer can determine the ideas and details to include that will be interesting and comprehensible to the intended readers or audience. Okay, so uh, again, in writing uh, a composition, you have to consider your audience or your readers, and you have to identify your purpose. Okay, now uh, the second step in writing a composition is writing the content itself okay so after after doing uh the different uh pre-writing techniques so you are now ready to write the content of your composition so in this step the writer will put onto words the ideas and details he has gathered during the pre writing stage so the output for this stage is called the first draft now the first draft is the raw and unprocessed version of the composition so it is where the writer will write uh, his ideas and details without without paying attention to organization grammar and punctuation marks because the main idea of this step is to put all the thoughts into writing. Anyway, there is, uh, uh, re, uh, there is uh, editing, there is an editing and revising stage. So writing the content. So again, uh, it is where the writer will write first his ideas and details without paying attention to organization, grammar, and punctuation marks. And then after that comes the uh, revising the first draft of the composition, okay? Uh, once the writer has reached this step, he will have in his hands a raw copy of the composition. So this is uh, a crucial step in writing a composition because this will allow the writer to have a polished version of his work. So the writer has to revise his work with his readers or with his audience and purpose in mind. Now, how do you revise? And uh, I have here some tips in revising the road trap of the composition. Now, in revising, you can add and remove ideas. So add, add some more ideas if necessary and remove ideas that are not necessary. And then check the details. Now, details are very important in writing. So this will allow the readers to understand what the writers want to say, okay? And, uh, you have to check, we have to check for unnecessary words and phrases. And you can also check for organization. Now, the writer has to check if he has written uh, ideas in a clear and logical manner and check if the transition from one topic to another is seamless okay now uh revising and conferencing go hand in hand now the the purpose of conferencing is to um 
improve the revised draft. Now, as one of the last steps in writing composition, in writing a composition, conferencing is letting another or is letting other people read the work for feedback. Now, feedback from readers is important so, so that one can get different views of the work. So in this step, simply ask others to read the work and ask them to give suggestions, recommendations to improve the composition. So that is uh, uh, conferencing the revised composition. And after that, after revising, is proof reading a composition. So one of the final steps in writing uh, in the writing process is proof reading. So the previous steps in writing a composition are all focused in the substance and structure of the work. Now this step, however, is more concerned with polishing up what one has written, okay? Now, what are some of the tips in proofreading? So you have to consider the spelling. Are there any errors in spelling? Uh, for uh, another one is for uh, capitalization. Did I use capital letters for words that need capitalization? And also punctuation marks. Did I use proper punctuation marks? And uh, are there any grammatical errors in, in my work? Did I observe indentation and proper margin? So these are some of the basics of uh, writing, okay? The technicalities of writing, uh, the spelling, the capitalization, the use of punctuation marks, uh, grammatical errors and indentation and proper margining, okay? And then uh, the final step in uh, writing a composition is publishing. Now, this simply means preparing and presenting the work for other people to read. So in the publishing stage, the writer comes out with a copy that is worthy and has been proofread to share uh, his work to his readers. Now, outside the school, the writer could opt to submit the work uh, to magazines and newspaper. Now, nowadays, it will be easy to publish written works through social media networks. Now, for uh, students, those who do research paper and uh, thesis paper, their work now is ready for submission to their teachers. Okay, so these are uh, some of the uh, um, uh, processes and guidelines in uh, technical writing, okay? So uh, that concludes our uh, discussion for this uh, afternoon about the processes and guidelines for technical writing. Thank you for uh, attending our uh, virtual class. Keep safe everyone and God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you, mom.